Welcome back everyone, Mr. Talbot here for you again. Uh, we're going to have another video where we kind of walk through some directions for our upcoming project. So we're focusing on this project on the big ideas of migration, which is kind of people moving uh, across the world and whatnot. So you'll see here uh, your due date, which we'll go over in class, but then there's four key terms that you're going to want to focus on and definitely use in this project, and they're listed right here. It's migration, immigrant, push factor, and pull factor, okay? You're certainly going to be more terms you'll want to use, but those are the big four you'll want to focus on, okay? And you're going to create a project that's going to help yourself and others learn those key terms that we have above, okay? So the first thing you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up actually defining these. So use your Chromebook, use the textbooks, whatever you need to use. Kind of focus on from a geographer sense, how would we define each of these four terms? And go ahead and if you want to define it, in quotes as you find that's great but also be sure to include it in your own words because you're going to have to put it in your own words so you may as well start by doing that so that's step one now when you make your project eventually after you define those terms you cannot do a presentation so there's no google slides or anything like that i want something creative that's going to showcase um, your knowledge of those key terms okay uh, for this project, unlike our last one, you're going to be allowed to work. You can still work by yourself if you prefer, but you're also allowed to work in a pair or a group of three. You get to choose your partner or partners. Okay, You can't be in a group of more than three. Um, here is the deal, though. Okay, If you choose to work with other people, you are responsible for what they complete. So you are going to get graded based on how good of a job they do as well as how good of a job you do. So be very, very specific. Uh, particular when you pick your partners. Don't pick people that aren't going to do their part because then you're going to end up doing more work or you're going to end up getting a worse grade. So choose wisely if you choose your own partners. Okay. So as we say it again, you can't do a project. So I want you to, in this box, you're going to brainstorm some ideas and I've given you a list here, but again, basically we're trying to get you to be creative so you can make stuff. It can be an arts and craft kind of thing. It could be a game. You could make your own breakout box like we've done kind of, um, some of those in class. Um, you could write a story. Uh, you could be using current event type of things to kind of show there's a, because what we see here, these four key terms, lots and lots of stuff going on in the, in the world. Could also really easily make a game of people migrating across the world or something. Okay. So however you want to do it, that's what you're going to do. You're going to brainstorm your ideas there. Then you're going to get me to approve it. So once you have your ideas brainstormed, pick one and then I will approve it. Or if I think maybe it's a little off, We'll have a conversation about that. Then in this section here, I want you to go ahead and write down um, what are some materials that you might need for this. Now, your Chromebook might be all you need, but again, you're not doing a presentation, so there's a good chance you're going to be needing some other things. Um, so whatever those other things might be, go ahead and, and uh, write them down there so that way I can help you get those materials. So go ahead and be working on this paper. Again, you start by defining these four terms. Then you go into your brainstorming if you have any questions. Don't hesitate to ask me. Okay, good luck.